it's so interesting that you guys considered after launching, after seeing some level of success. After after having it like start to work. Yeah. 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 You guys considered cashing out and leaving yeah. the casino. That's so interesting. Cause yeah, and it, it, it comes down to values, man. It comes down to like, you know, value of life and family and, and just general priorities. And I'm the youngest member of our group. Um, you know, I'm 34, about to be 35. And, and the other guys are uh, 40, 41, 41. And, um, you know, so they're old. <laughs> I, I, tell, I tell them that all the time when they listen to this, they'll laugh. Um, and, um, you know, and it's just like, you know, Hey, are we going to, are we going to keep, keep going or, or what? And we all looked at each other and we're like, Nope, we got way too much time, way too much money invested in this and let's, let's go. And so we put a plan together, presented it to our investors and said, Hey, we want to go full time. And here's how we think this will look. Here's the money we need to raise. Here's the plan we're going to put into action. Finance degree for a win. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going to take everything from like, we're, we're about to ratchet it all up. Like if we're going full time, guess what else is going? Everything's going full time. Yeah. Nice. Marketing's going full time. R and D like everything. And so we put this huge plan in front of our investors in January and they freaking loved it. They were like, you could tell they were a little bit like we were waiting on this, yeah. you know, um, this actually makes us feel better mm -hmm. about our investment. Like right. we don't care how much you're asking for. Like the fact that you're, you're willing to quit your job, go full time makes me feel like my investment is protected. Right. And so, so this started in January, mm -hmm. right? Where nothing is really going crazy yet globally, wise, yeah. right? And so we, you know, have a have a meeting, commit to it verbally. This is what we're going to do, and then kicked off kind of a four month um, like transactional. You know, we had to kind of, you know, what prep, this is like. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, the due it's diligence, a lot all of lawyers, the prep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And waterfall structures, yeah. and how's this all going to work, and blah blah oh, blah, and you know. Um, <laughs> Uh, the fun stuff it always yeah. takes a lot longer than it should. By uh, the way. So it, it took four every, months to it, four, it took four <laughs> yeah. months to actually close yeah. that deal yeah. And, yeah. and transact a new raise. And and so um, by April the deal is closed. Um, it's it's done deal. Okay, guys, it's time to go. Put in your two wait. Weeks. So this is April. You you're, you guys are putting in your two weeks. Did you yeah. guys? And now the the pandemic has hit America. Yeah. Did, were you guys? And it hit China. <laughs> Were you guys concerned with manufacturing capabilities? Yeah. So no. And here's why. So what's funny is, is so March happens, right? We're in the mm -hmm. middle of negotiating this deal with our investors and um, March happens. The world shuts down overnight. Mm -hmm. Market takes 50% dip. Oil's trading negative 400, you know, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, weird stuff is going on. And so we're like, we actually called our investors. We're like, Hey, are y'all still in? You know, I know we're still negotiating this thing. We're banging out some terms legally. Y'all still in? And they were like, oh, we're still in. This is the best time to do this. Like, <laughs> Y'all get ready. You know, like we're like, okay. <laughs> so we're still preparing personally for an exit from the corporate world. Uh, but at a turtle box level, we were battening down the hatches. You know, we're going, okay, this is a $300 speaker. We believe it's a great product, but for $300, when the world's coming to an end, nobody needs a $300 speaker. Right. And so, we were just starting to like shut down things anywhere we could pinch back anywhere we could and say, okay, look, we got to, I know we're about to do this big raise, but we still got to preserve capital mm -hmm. where we can. And so March happens, we, we get lean and mean like overnight and prepare for the worst. April, we close our deal, put in our two weeks or I was the first one to jump ship. And so, uh, so I, I left at the end of April and started full-time turtle box in May and in April, before I jumped ship, and this is all kicking off, you know, we had a inventory discussion and, you know, hey, what are we going to do with China and how's this going to work from a supply chain and blah, blah, blah. And we looked at our inventory and we said, okay, we think we're okay because um, based on current sales and kind of our tick right now is we've got about a year's worth of inventory. Sounds so, like famous last words. So we, we yeah. have, <laughs> they're about we, to run out of inventory. So. We felt, we felt, like we're going to be okay. Like if China is shut down for like a year and things go weird, like we've got product. And so it, 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 like a month prior, we were pretty upset about it. We were like, we didn't like being this long. I felt a little overexposed in my inventory position and I wanted to con you know, convert that to capital. And, and 
And so we're like, okay, it's April. we got about a year's worth of inventory. All right. Well, um, little known to us, um, that lasted us about 60 days. Wow. And, um, what, what happened is, is, you know, I don't like telling people that we benefited from COVID, but, um, we benefited from COVID. Uh, <laughs> is it because this is, this is like an outdoor. Yeah. So everyone was now outside. Yeah. So what we saw is, um, it, it was kind of a trifecta of things for this year and a bunch of companies can, can relate to this is that in general, we've seen e-commerce is up 200% this year. So if you're selling online, you're doing all right. Secondly, if you are selling an outdoor related product, you're doing even better because people are desperate to be outside, especially in the early days of quarantine. People just wanted to be outside, fresh air, experience more of their backyard. And so if you had a product that made your backyard better, which Turtle Box does, um, those were selling out. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, although the market was crashing and it felt like the sky was falling from a financial perspective, people were still getting paid. Like real life. Mm -hmm. People yeah, like, are still living. Yeah. People are still yeah. living. Yeah. You know, government swoops in and hands out money to everybody and people are spending their little $1,200, you know, relief check on like iPads and turtle boxes. Mm -hmm. And, and so it was this like just wave of demand like we had never seen. I mean, you know, there's a podcast, so you can't really see this, but I mean, it was like, this is my sales chart is like March, April, May, June. Like, <laughs> so just for the record, his hand just went from like flat all the way up, not even exponential, just like a straight it was, line. It was, I mean, it was hyperbolic. Yeah. I mean, overnight hyperbolic. And by June 15th, we were sold out. Wow. And wow. so good problem to have still a problem. Right. Uh, and, uh, so from that point forward, we entered into a pre-sale campaign, you know, did our best to try and keep cash flow, you know, moving in and, and, um, have had amazing success even since then. And we, you know, we, we had to turn Amazon off. We do a lot of Amazon sales. You're not allowed to pre-sell on Amazon. And so we switched this pre-sale campaign to our website, you know, placed an overnight order. China had opened back up at this point, you yeah. know, we had a 90 day window to get some boxes in from China. Uh, got a thousand units delivered at the beginning of September. We had pre-sold all of those. Uh, and so we literally from June 15th through, uh, really the end of August, we had this pre-sale campaign, pre-sold a whole batch, uh, received that batch shipped out a thousand units the next day. And we're still out of inventory. I was going to ask, yeah, if I wanted to buy one today, yeah. I couldn't, I would now have to wait can. for the, Oh, now, now, now can. I can. Yeah. Okay, so, great. so that was September. So September, we thought we were going to be back in inventory, but, um, back in stock and we weren't. And so, uh, last week we got another big batch and we got 2,100 units in last week. Uh, we had pre-sold about 25% of that batch. And so, um, you know, so now I've, I've restocked my Amazon account. I've got a lot of units at Amazon and then I've got a lot of units at my warehouse here. And so we're officially back in stock, which is super exciting to us. I mean, and to me, because I've been waiting for a long right. time. So, <laughs> I can't wait to try this out. Like once this is over, we're going to try this out. Yeah. It's going to be. And it's just been, it's just been amazing. Like it, it's, it's just been amazing to watch, uh, again, like I keep saying, I mean, it's, it's not like we're geniuses. Um, but when you have an outside or internal impetus to, to do something, to, to continue believing in it more than just, I want to make a bunch of money or I want to live a certain way. I want to um, make things. Yeah. yeah I, I like yeah. making things, man. Yeah. And, and I, and I like seeing the fruit that comes from that and the relationships that come from that. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, we got a lot of big things coming up and yeah, uh, some fun new products. Maybe. Do you want to do you want to give us a preview on what's to come for Turtle Box? <sighs> it's kind of be like insider trading. So, <laughs> all right, off offline, we'll talk. No, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, we've uh, uh, we just uh, launched like forever. We'd only been selling in green. Yeah. And so, uh, kind of the the big event this year was is we we released new colors. Uh, um, so we launched a really cool tan color. We call it field tan, really cool gray. We call thunderhead gray. And then, uh, we, we had a blue, uh, called Laguna Madre blue. Uh, those sold out like in a week. <laughs> uh, so the blues are gone. Uh, we are getting more boxes. We're getting more blue in, in December. So if anybody what wants color blue, is this, this is a gray. Yeah. Gray. Okay. Gray is, uh, our best seller right now, man. Gray has really done well. And, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, 
turtleboxaudio.com or Amazon. We have a lot of great retailers too yeah. that are carrying our product and 